But no, one last thing I want to talk about was the state of Texas. Uh, I'm so fortunate. I'm so happy that we're, you know, we're from Texas. We're able to live in Texas. I read a, or not even read, today I watched a 19-minute video from CBS, from NBC, CBS, or whatever, or CMB, CBS, you know, y'all know what I mean. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But that network, right, and they always show um, all the business stuff. So today they were talking about, is is Texas turning into the new California? And for 19 minutes, they were telling me all the reasons of why it was great to move to Texas and, you know, new businesses are coming. You got Elon Musk here. You got Joe Rogan here. Mm -hmm. You got um, some more techie people here. Apple's coming. Uh, Hewitt Hewitt Packard is coming to Houston. Amazon. they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazon's going to be in Dallas. We have this uh, $200 million railroad system that's being built. From like Dallas to Houston, that one? Yeah. And it's going to take. Is that, is that still a plan? Is that still going on? Yeah. No, they're waiting for it to be approved. That's going to be crazy. That's going to be you crazy. Know, I just, you know, I just realized it's like a few months ago that there's a. The, 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 the train from DFW Airport actually goes all the way to Fort Worth. Yeah. I did not realize that. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Here, you keep talking real quick. I got to hook up this charger real quick. But you go ahead. I think it's pretty crazy that. And, and yeah, this has been happening. You know, for like the past couple months now, since like the end of last year, the the so called California Exodus, where a lot of prominent uh, personality figures and businesses are making that move, and I think it has mainly to do with the level of restrict. I think a lot of it started with the level of restriction when it came to the pandemic in California, mm-hmm. but also I think people are seeing the amount of like benefits from being here so like no state tax you also have a land is usually a lot cheaper as well too uh things are just generally property is generally cheaper in texas as well as opposed to california and i think a lot of people are starting to see a lot more quote-unquote freedom in the state more than they would in other states so i can see the appeal yeah um what do you think about it because i feel like i feel like texas doesn't get recognized enough for the industry that are here when it comes to like you know, aerospace down in Houston, you know, with NASA and all that. And then you got like a lot of animation studios and like uh, anime studios up here in like Dallas, you know, north of like I-30, you know, you got a, you got uh, like Funimation. Funimation who dubs a lot of anime in English are are in Dallas. They've been there forever since like the 90s. I did not know that. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm not mad at it. I do, But when you tell me we're turning into the next California, I just think that, you know what that means? Makes me think of people everywhere. Like, like I don't want that. <laughs> I want the people to, are everywhere. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want it to be every. I don't want people to be everywhere. I don't want traffic in Dallas to be like traffic in Houston. Uh, that is what I don't want because, um, I just don't want more people coming here. And we already have thirty nine million people in the state, right? And so, yeah, by the year, I'll, I'll accept it when I'm gone. By the year, uh, three thousand and twenty. That's when it's be up, way dead. That, yeah, God willing, God willing. If I'm still here in three thousand and twenty, God willing, three thousand. That's a thousand years from now. Oh, I'm, what's the no no? What's a hundred years from now? Uh, oh. uh, uh two thousand. Oh, you're right. One hundred and twenty-one. Yeah, y'all forgive me, y'all. 20, I'm like three thousand, bro. <laughs> twenty-one, <laughs> twenty-one, 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 and twenty-one, twenty-one. If I'm still here in twenty-one, twenty-one, God willing, um. <laughs> My I Jesus. I don't listen. I, I won't mind by then, but or but really, but really, I I expect about twenty seventy. I think twenty seventy, maybe maybe even sooner than that. Twenty forty, we might see some real big changes in the state. You know, you know, they say we're supposed to have flying cars. I don't know when, but soon. I I'm not ready for that. <laughs> I will say, I'm a, I'm not mad at it, man. I feel like the people should have the same opportunity as anybody else to move and start, you know, their business, their way of life, the way they, they want to. Mm-hmm. And if they choose Texas to be it, then why not? You know, I, I can only see if, if things go about, the, go about it the right way, which, you know, is just, it's very a big if, because, you know, people can mess up and maybe the state uh, could go a different direction. But if they, if I feel that people are making the right moves and I really want to see the state prosper, but also along, along the lines bring great um maybe political change 
shift because because like it or not, like 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 Texas is, is pretty much purple at this point when it comes to like politics. Right. And sooner or later it's gonna be blue. The more we go, the more like I would say within like the next ten to fifteen years probably gonna be blue. Probably ten. Most likely ten. Um and okay, what about this? So you, you'll be you'll be okay with if there's a let's say two million people started staying in Tyler. You'll be okay with it? Uh, Tyler will never have too many people. Okay, you see you say that. You say that now. Just like I just like I think bro, Tyler only got a hundred thousand, bro. I, if Tyler gets to let's <clears throat> let's say five hundred thousand. Okay. That'd be crazy. Because you would have to that infrastructure would be have to be so big. You would have to build it five hundred thousand is, is a huge number, man. Like what does Fort Worth have in the Metroplex? Fort Worth has like nine hundred something thousand? In the, in the Metroplex, gotta and then be, da- yeah. the, and then Dallas got what, one point one, one point two, one point one, one point two, yeah. Like the whole whole Metroplex, like that is a that's a huge. I can't even fathom like the amount of you would have to like expand a city to accommodate that many people, especially Tyler. Like Tyler will never get near two million unless you make into a city like Dallas, which will never happen at this point. So basically, you're saying so you're not including White House and uh, what else is it, Chapel Hill down there? You would have to like literally destroy all the force around you, and cre- and create nothing but streets to 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 make that size. To to because what I don't even know how many square kilometers uh, or I mean square miles is, is Dallas. You like um, like you would have to make Tyler like a mini Dallas. So you think it's crazy for me to expect by the year twenty forty to have fifty thousand people in Pittsburgh when there's yeah. right now there's four thousand there's Five is, is population less than five six thousand. Excuse me. Right now, there's six thousand people in Pittsburgh. I think I could see maybe in the next ten years, fifty thousand going up in Tyler. That that sounds reason. That sounds plausible. So one hundred fifty thousand. You you could. So I would say yeah, one hundred sixty, one hundred fifty, one hundred six thousand Tyler. I feel like that's possible in the, in the next twenty years. Okay. When, when I don't you, know, man. Like like, because uh, a lot of people are flocking to Austin, right? Uh, they're flopping to Austin. They're flopping to Frisco. Frisco is the number one city in Texas that's growing. Growing, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, it got a lot, it got a lot of industry up there, a lot of sports. Mm-hmm. Some and people so, going crazy. And so, uh, do, do you see? I mean, Dallas, I think is very underappreciated when it comes to like a lot of the culture and a lot of the art. Well, but for Dallas, it's spread out. Everything's spread out. I mean, that's Texas in general. Everything's spread out in Texas. Well, well, what I mean, like the metro, play, but like just like Houston. Houston, Houston spread out too. Houston is spread out, but if I stay in these confi, I can stay in a ten mile radius, right? Yeah, but that makes sense. I mean, you got I know people from Houston who say they they've never left the South Side. They've never been to the North Side at all. <laughs> That's crazy to think about because I've been all over. Yeah, and vice versa. There's people that've been the North Side who've never been to the South Side. So yeah, I guess you're right. Austin, Austin, I listen. Austin have to build freeways. They're gonna have to do something. That they have one freeway. Yeah, I about to say like Austin got like one freeway, and that thing is always packed. Always packed. It never, it will never be finished. Um, same thing with that's the same thing with like Dallas, bro. Dallas got some highways that you feel like will never be finished. Thirty five will never be finished. Uh, yeah. And so, thirty will probably never be finished on some some parts of it. Oh yeah, you're right. By uh, Six Flags and all that. Look, mm-hmm. look at us going on a Dallas, Texas rant. <laughs> but no, this is yeah. a, a legit rant that I wasn't a rant, but I legit had thoughts about this about about this today. Like, man, I never thought about it being, you know, moving like that. Or even thinking mm-hmm. about El Paso. El Paso, I think, has three hundred thousand people. Yeah. Like I I don't really see much change in like Maybe Tyler, maybe Tyler just because it's so close to Dallas. And I feel like people who may not want to live in Dallas might want to live in Tyler. I can see that happening. Oh, it's going to happen. But, hmm? It's going to happen. I mean, I would yeah. move to Tyler. I wouldn't mind yeah. moving to Tyler. Yeah, that's fine. But, like, El Paso is pretty far out there. Like, I don't really see that expanding a lot. But definitely definitely Austin, definitely um, Dallas, Frisco, you know, the area in general, DFW. Is going big. Houston's gonna keep expanding like like it's always been doing. Uh, for some reason, I don't see San, San Antonio going growing for some reason because I feel like there's such a not saying that there's not room to grow, but I feel like they're always there's such an established city as it is, and they're always very chill. You know, like they got the Spurs. Yeah, 
They they're very culturally diverse. They you don't really hear too much from San Antonio like that. They just kind of stay in the cut. San Antonio is like Fort Worth to me. It's a college town, basically. You got UT- what college is in uh what college in San Antonio? UTSA, University of Texas San Antonio. You got Incarnate Ward. Oh yeah, Incarnate Ward. And then um there's another college. <clears throat> but those are like the main colleges and then that's it. And then and then you got the Spurs. So they don't really have a professional football team like they should. They should have one. I do think they they need one. Um What about a baseball team? And a baseball team, yeah. I mean, you could put a baseball team before you put a football team there. Yeah. Or, you know. You think who do you think we would like to see? Uh, would you like to see like a new franchise there, or like would you like to see already a pre-existing team move over to San Antonio? Probably a new franchise. Like call them like the San Antonio Gunners or the San Antonio Generals, or something okay. like that. Something like relatable to the Alamo. I don't want to see. I didn't want to see the Raiders go there. The Raiders, yeah, wanted to go there at one point, and then they ended up in Vegas, which is right. perfectly fine for the Raiders. Or I think the Las Vegas Raiders sound good. Yeah, that's fine. Um, would you okay? So I I know we're doing hypothetical stuff. All right, so if Tyler gets up to let, let's go with three hundred thousand, three hundred thousand people, right? Um, would Tyler be able to support not a basketball team? Let's go with a baseball team. Let's like a would, minor league. Three hundred thousand people. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine. Let, we'll go triple A minor league baseball team. You think Tyler? How about could, you think Tyler can support that? Probably. Probably, but not a major league baseball team? No, never. What you mean? There's a lot of old people. Old people like to go to baseball games. They do. I mean, there's a lot of football fans in Tyler. Like, you know that. Like, but no, that's not going to happen. Like, what's like the biggest, like, sports franchise that's like in a very small town that you could think of? The Utah Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City is a pretty big, big city. I know. I'm just, I just, I hate <laughs> like Utah has a team. Um, like uh, the, well, I was gonna say Tampa Bay, Orlando. I mean, but Orlando got Disney World and all that. Like they're they're known. Yeah, I I'm talking about like a city. I'm talking about a city that's literally just a city, and they're only known for their sports team, and that's it. Just any for any any sport too. It ain't got to be football. Just baseball, basketball. I was gonna say Cleveland, Cleveland, um, New England Patriots. New England Patriots really should be small. Uh, you know, baseball. I feel like baseball franchises, like baseball franchises, are usually like in smaller cities. Yeah, yeah. Or it's like a hockey team, but you know, like a hockey team too. Yeah. Well, I have to think about it. Let me see. Folks, we're coming to the end of our show right now. 